Welcome back. I think we can all tell from my appearance this is not going to be the most formal of videos, but I did want to touch on the subject of Brianna Wu running for Congress in 2018, where she will be challenging a sitting Democrat as a Democrat who has held the seat for over 13 years and he has held the seat well, retaining with a comfortable margin for quite a lengthy period of time because this particular Democrat, Stephen Lynch, is everything that is wrong with the Democratic Party. Now I will deal with that particular quote and aspect of this challenging for Congress later. Firstly though, I want to start with my prediction. I do not believe for a single second the DNC will go ahead with this, or allow it to go ahead, or do anything that could harm any safe seat they have. Stephen Lynch's seat is safe. It is very safe. So why risk it to put someone else there when they need to rebuild their party after what happened at the last election? Yes, Hillary got the popular vote, I know, but they do not appeal to the wider country, and that is important. Not, however, to the video. So my prediction for this is simply, Brianna Wu is going to get swept under the rug within a few moments and be obliterated. Either that, or they'll try and put her in a more progressive area. I don't know if they can do that, but if they can, maybe they will, I doubt it though. Now, for those that don't know, Brianna Wu is a perpetual liar, a perpetual victim, someone who made her name during Gamergate being a massive fraud. She is someone that at one point told people she had to leave her home, but was filming videos from her home while saying it. She would hide behind the police at every opportunity and say there were stalkers at her door, harassers sending her death threats all the time. No evidence provided, though, to back this up. Whenever the light of her relevance dimmed, she would come up with another outrageous statement, saying she was getting more death threats. In all seriousness, none of this would have happened if you hadn't done that really shitty meme with the stolen image. Not your finest work. But you claimed harassment, played victim, disappeared for a while. Hardly a surprise though, really. You're the same person who wrote a comment asking yourself a question, but left your name on the tag. You're a genius. And if anyone is curious where that is, it's on Steam. If you're not getting a good enough picture of the kind of person who is running for office in 2018, perhaps a little more information will do you good. Let's talk about fiscal responsibility. You spend $400,000 making a game that most thought could be done with about twenty dollars to $25,000, and it tanks. Congratulations. You used Gamergate as a marketing scheme to try and elevate your game's status, and it backfired so you played the harassment card. If anyone is interested, there is in the description a David Pakman interview with Brianna Wu, where you will see the finest, the most delicious bullshit. Now I'm going to leave a few links below to some of Brianna's more interesting activities. Now even if all of that is ignored, there are still other aspects that need to be thought of. Like earlier mentioned, she is going to be challenging a sitting democratic seat as a democrat, for a stronger democratic party. There is a campaign ad video which I'm also going to link below. It is pretty amusing, filled with buzzwords and very, very well chosen clips. The Teen Vogue one made me chuckle a little. When you say someone who has held a seat comfortably for so long is everything that is wrong with the Democratic Party, you make it abundantly clear that you're not interested in addressing the issues but simply fobbing the blame onto someone for any failings in the Democratic Party. The individual in question being Stephen Lynch, yes, he has voted against some things that would align with the Democratic Party, Obamacare being one, he is not a fan of it, but he has held true and he has retained a very wide margin whenever he has gone for re-election, so it would be wise to leave that seat as it is safe and go for other seats that would offer a better opportunity, or other seats that Republicans hold that are weak. I'm not saying Brianna stands much of a chance against them, but if they have a solid liberal fan base, you stand more of a chance. Now in this instance, I could continue and reel off more things she has done that are utterly ridiculous. Maybe even look at Stephen Lynch's policies and why he is everything that is wrong with the Democratic Party. Or, I could simply point out that this is just a desperate attempt by Brianna Wu to appear relevant because she wants nothing more than to police the internet, prevent harassment, noble causes of course. Sarcasm. Sign here somewhere. Brianna Wu is an attention-seeking narcissist who has failed at every step to try and stop people from being themselves and being free, all the while claiming she is being bullied, trolled, and sent multiple death threats, when she has also been proven to be an absolute 
absolute liar. It'll be interesting to see how this pans out. It really will, because using Gamergate, like I think she will, she will use her status and all that happened to her over the course of Gamergate, most of which was lies, she will use it to try and elevate herself and do better in this campaign, which I do not see helping her for a second. Just before I finish this, when you have a website called BriannaWu2018.com and the slogan reads, she fought the alt-right and won, you know you're not onto a winner. Thank you all for listening. Brianna Wu, everyone. Go vote for her. <laughs> oh. Gamergate's what got me into YouTube. This is brilliant.